breathing life into an old laptop. i3 2310M versus i7 2820QM. Changing the all for soap or does it make sense? In this article, I would like to share the history of updating an old Toshiba Satellite C67013 e laptop. Now there is no such company that produced it. From the factory, this laptop had an i32310M processor. 2 cores, 4 threads, low performance at the present time. The kit also included one 4GB memory bar with a frequency of 1333 MHz. Moreover, this memory frequency was the maximum for this processor. The laptop is generally good, 17-inch screen, nice appearance. It was decided to try to revive it by replacing the RAM and processor. Replacement of the processor became possible only because in this laptop the processor is not soldered to the board, as is done in all modern laptops, but has legs, and is inserted into the socket socket G2, socket up G988B. And if there is a socket, it means that you can try to insert some other processor into it. Let's see what other processors are available for this socket at the link. The choice of processors was large. It was decided to upgrade to some i7. By the way, the Chinese can find on sale any processor from this list. The Core i7-2820QM processor seemed optimal. In China, its price was about 5,000 rubles, and if you get a store coupon, you can take it even cheaper. Of the pleasant ones, this is the youngest processor with an L3 cache of 8 megabytes. This processor also supports DDR3 1600 MHz memory. There are 4 cores and 8 threads. The list of processors also includes processors of the 3000th generation. But on profile forums do not advise to jump from the 2nd to the 3rd generation the chipset, and the chipset we have H65, will not support the new processors. Another factor that inclined the choice to this processor was that it came out simultaneously with the stock i32310M. Other i7 processors came out much later, and may not have been supported by the motherboard BIOS. You can, of course, take the risk and put the coolest processor of the second generation in your laptop, maybe it will work. But our laptop Toshiba Satellite C67013E has only one single version of the BIOS, and there is nothing to update it. More powerful i7s were more expensive, had the same number of cores, and the increase compared to 2820QM was promised within a dozen percent. In terms of performance per ruble, the 2820QM processor was the best. Also, instead of 1 4GB 1333 MHz memory bar, DNS bought two 8GB memory bars with a frequency of 1600MHz so DIM AMD Radeon R5 Entertainment Series, R538 G1601S2SU 8GB RAM. The choice fell on these bars, because they were the cheapest. The memory worked perfectly, despite the fact that it is from AMD. The processor stood up like a native and was immediately recognized by the laptop, as if it had always been in it. Moreover, the memory automatically started working at a frequency of 1600 MHz. The memory frequency cannot be selected manually, and the BIOS of this laptop does not have any memory settings. Let's look at the test results. Here are three pictures of memory and cache tests. One image, in stock state, two replaced memory with 8 plus 8 gigabytes. Three replaced memory and processor. Replacing only one memory has already had a positive effect on the laptop, since two-channel mode was turned on, although at a frequency of 1333 MHz. Replacing the processor allowed us to further increase all the speed indicators of memory. The speed of the cache at all levels of the new processor is more than two times higher than that of the i3. Let's look at the processor tests in the AIDA 64 program. The CPU Queen test showed an increase of 2.3 times. In the CPU PhotoWorks test, the increase was 15%. In the CPU's Lib test, the advantage was 37%. In the CPU's test, the new processor is 38 times faster. 
All this is due to the fact that the i3-2310M does not support instructions, unlike its older brother. In the CPU SHA-3 test, the superiority is 15%. In the FPU test, Julia i7 is 2.38 times faster. In the Mandel FPU, the new processor is 2.26 times faster. FPU SIN Julia, 2.23 times. FP32 rate trace, of 1.48 times. FP64 rate trace, by 7%. Let's look at the CPU Z tests again. In a single thread, the new processor is 48% faster. And in multi threading by 2.16 times. To assess the increase in games, tests were conducted in 3 Mark 06. The increase was microscopic, barely noticeable, which is not surprising. This laptop has a GeForce 315M video card installed, and it cannot be replaced, and there is nothing to replace it with. A microscopic increase is associated with an increase in the overall performance of the laptop. On this video card, you can only play games such as Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, Mafia with Comfort, so that the FPS is more than 60, The City of Lost Heaven. The DVD drive was also removed, as it is already an outdated and unnecessary device. Instead, a sled is installed. A stock Hitachi HTS 547564A9384 SATA 2 640 gigabits hard drive was placed in this sled. A new 500 gigabytes Samsung 860 Evo SSD, MC76E500BW, is installed in place of the hard drive. The speed of work has increased significantly. For comparison, SSD and HDD speed tests. In general, if we consider this laptop as a working one, and not a gaming one, then obviously the upgrade was successful and successful. If you have a working laptop with Intel processors of 2, 3, 4 generations, it was in these generations that the socket was still used, and then they went with BGA pins for soldering, then you can breathe a second life into it.